if United wins the FA Cup. And if you're that, gonna, oh, oh, United had a better season, right? Ten Hag is doing better than Arteta. Replying to a lot of people, like heard a lot of chatter saying that you know Arteta, it's been five years and he's just he's basically won nothing uh, hmm. this year. Also, probably if he goes trophy less, this is a failure. I like just as Arteta said, I haven't seen one team, and if you guys can help me out. Who have stayed out of the Champions League for seven years, mm. uh, haven't finished in the top four for seven years, and then comes back to challenge two years in a row. I can guarantee you there'll be zero. So mm. the, the criticism is quite unfair. I don't think it's it's valid at all. Um, do you have anything to say about that? I, I swear, yeah. I swear, we are going to be seeing. A certain narrative at the end of the season, if United wins the FA Cup, and if you're that, gonna, oh, oh, United had a better season, right? Ten Hag is doing better than Arteta. I swear, if, I'm not talking about people like yeah, Neymar. Probably, 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 probably neutral like, fans, <laughs> and they probably right too when it comes to just straight up like trophies, sure. But hmm. if other, uh, I mean, if you're saying uh, a club, then I'm so sorry. But like, you were in a title challenge in 2013-14. That uh, was a fluke. Except- that was basically a fluke. What is a fluke? You had Sterling. You had Swansea. Yeah, exactly. You had good. Yeah, you, were, man, that was not was sustainable. That was that was not even a top four team, man. Come on. Yeah. But you guys losing the title was a fluke. Like, was an anomaly. Like, yeah. You guys the, the were- season overall, right? You had a, the thing is, the players were used to. Being in a race, that's a very different thing than players who have never ever done anything. And that was just a year after before Klopp came. No, 13-14. Okay. You know, I think uh, I think Arteta did a really smart thing, right? He's like, okay, it's going to take uh, six years for me to finish cooking. So, I just give everyone an appetizer at the start. So, he just won that FA Cup so that at least in the tally, it'd be like, okay, one trophy. And he's been starving you since FA Cup. After that, he hasn't given two fucks about the FA Cup. I wouldn't call it starving, though. I wouldn't call it starving. Yeah. If, it, okay, this is... here's the thing. If we don't win anything next year, anything, zero <laughs> things, <laughs> that's when like we'll be like, okay, this is concerning <laughs> because this <laughs> is <laughs> now we're getting to a bottle. But like challenging for two years in a row, coming to the quarterfinals of Champions League after not playing the competition for seven years is fine, dude. It's fine. We Listen, just have four. Tro- we didn't get pumped by who kicked us out <laughs> okay. of the. I'm, I'm, not them a good against, fight. I'm not against Arsenal or Adita. I'm totally with, with you guys. I mean, I, I like what Adita is doing. I'm just answering what Neera was asking earlier. In terms of like, yes, I mean, Liverpool did when Klopp came in. Yes, the squad was completely different to what 13-14 was. None of them had any of these title challenge title challenges or experience of being in a title running and all that. So when Klopp came in, when he kind of got his, you know, got his players in and all that, I think the only people who were there were Henderson and Lovren, I guess, from that season. So 15-16, he came in first season, he, you know, got into FA Cup, sorry, the Carabao Cup. Uh, and then next season, he finished top four. The season after, he was that 98-point season where we lost and then next season, we won. So, yeah, I think technically, yes, we did do that. But the way Arsenal are progressing and you know working out working out with Arteta, I think again if it, if someone complains it they just don't have a point. They are just kind of giving you a scoreline analysis. I think which is kind of bullshit. I and mean, you know if you just kind of say that oh yeah, I think can... it's mostly Chelsea yeah. fans online. Yeah, it's just out of tribalism, so. man. So don't don't really work. I feel like it's a mat- It's just a matter of time, man. Yeah. Just a matter of time before uh, things happen. Yeah. Yep. I think there is no rationalism to the criticism. They're just like probably extremely vengeful of your club. That's it. Like they just don't want Arsenal to succeed. And anything that Arsenal touches, they will see with a weird, uh, irrational like criticism that no Arteta is like not a is not a success. Arteta is not a success. Look, I mean, people who have a level head and who've seen the process and who know thing good things are happening can just take arm and just focus on it, right? Exactly. Like, and, and, and I think your books are really good. So you guys can spend a lot of money this summer, like right money. And recruitment has always been a positive for Arteta since he came in, including clearing out the things that are not necessary. And I think Arsenal, believe it or not, have a very big season in terms of like outgoings of the people mm-hmm. that they want to move on and get new people in. And I think if they nail that right, it's it's going to be fucking insane, guys, like next season. Because it's you guys are set up to like challenge again and again and again. Mm-hmm. What there what do we do about Jesus and Zinni? What, what do we do? That's a great question, actually. Like, what? Good squad. Hmm? Good squad players. You know what the most, the thing that I'm most excited about is the fact that if City end up winning the Premier League again, this will be four in a row. And I think now 
at least the motivation reduces because uh, if uh, the, at this point if they're still motivated to win five in a row then fuck that team honestly like enough and club going from liverpool i feel like there'll be a small reset i mean liverpool's going to face what united faced after ferguson arsenal faced after arsenal it's it's inevitable it's going to happen mm. it will be very rare for them maybe, to challenge again maybe they with Hart another can go to liverpool <laughs> <laughs> sorry uh but yeah like if amarim comes in i i don't see them challenging straight straight away i think mm-hmm. i've been have probably agree right like i mean it's it's there, not there are some yeah. reports it is that going salah has already a... bought a house in saudi arabia so yeah i mean if salah it's not just the manager you have players there's going to be an exodus of players as well oh well, yeah i mean i think i totally agree i think even if salah leaves this season i'm not like too overly concerned i think we need a sort of mini reset not on the scale of united or not on the scale of arsenal when you know ferguson and, and wenger left because i think the club's foundation is still good with everyone coming back with michael edwards and all of the backroom staff coming back i think we are still in a good place to be honest uh, it's not go and and also klopp did not overstay his welcome sort of like wenger did like i think it was evident the last 3 4 years or 3 years of wenger was basically like he was kind of he was out of his depth in some ways and he was just kind of you know the club needed to move on anyway but with klopp leaving and edwards coming back and i think there there's going to be more ruthlessness uh, in the liverpool squad going forward it will be less emotional which will suck for us as fans but and yes there will be a reset but it's not going to be on the scale of like united or arsenal yeah a couple of years maybe finishing in top top 4 winning the odd trophy here and there but yeah i think we're still in a good shape all right bro we hear you <laughs> Uh, uh, Abhinav, the reason you said yes, you said that oh, we don't, you don't need a reset at the level of Arsenal or United because that would mean waiting for like eight to ten years for things to start working again. It's it's not like you're looking it's at the squad and you're judging. Working, so. <laughs> it still hasn't hasn't started working, and it's been twelve years now. So mm-hmm. God knows how long. I think we've. We'll we'll wait and see, and we'll also wait and see with the fixtures because even even if you guys win all of the games and like have the right manager come in in the future, we invest a lot of things. There's still going to be Pep Guardiola and his city, so we'll all see. This might just be all talk for ourselves, and we see a five in a row, six in a row, seven in a row. <laughs> <laughs> like, bitch. Yeah, this, I, this year is the year, man. Like if somehow someone slips and. I don't even care about Liverpool because you know if Klopp wins fine they're still going to have that reset. Every that's inevitable. That's happening. He's leaving. It's not like he's going to change his decision. But if by chance we win the title, right? It's going to be huge for us. Like that duck breaking that duck and I feel like we'll be able to compete with Pep even if he stays for the next 4 years. Fuck him honestly. But if we lose it again next year again Pep will be just like everyone will think about that team as inevitable. No, but we, but it will be Really nice, right? That they don't win anything this year. If Pep, if we win the Premier League, right? And hmm. United somehow beats City in the final, it'll hmm. be like everyone together held hands and cucked Pep. <laughs> Liverpool <laughs> won. <laughs> Liverpool won uh, Carabao Cup, and then United won the FA Cup. Arsenal won the Premier League. Madrid won the. I mean, whoever wins the Champions League, and City wins nothing, and the Community Shield as well. So. <laughs> so all of us are going to do a one parade with Liverpool United and uh, and pass one at the Etihad Stadium and that's outside that. Pep's house. Yeah. See, what you have said would be very beautiful if City had any fans, right? Like we don't have anyone to like cuck. No, with. fuck the fans. This is just like to fuck just with Pep's this. head. That's it. Just to psychologically. Yeah. Just all of the entire Premier League. I mean, I I think the re- the reason I mean. He he is prone to these things. I think he took a two-year break, right after Barcelona. So he does yeah. have a psychological limit. We just need to get there. We need to kick him out, and he should never come back to the Premier League. Yeah, just enough of Premier League. We've been talking about it for a while, and like we will keep talking about it until the end of the season and for the rest of our lives. It looks like because uh, <laughs> that, that's how like helpless we are. Personally, in 2060, United will win something. <laughs> Someday, hopefully, we will sell. Hopefully, before I die, is yeah. the yeah. that or what the is the average lifespan of a human being and how old is Pep? <laughs> <laughs> Do the math. <laughs> 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 